Hello friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at Webpack 4, uh, in particular uh, the zero configuration that is now possible. Um, so previously you'd always have to create a webpack.config.js. Um, now you can simply, you can get up and running really quickly without, without creating um, any configuration at all. Um, you know, in most projects, you're always going to want to create it as soon as you do anything that's non-trivial. But for putting together demo apps um, and just trying something out, it's, 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 it's really great. Um, first thing we need to do is install globally uh, not only Webpack, um, but also Webpack CLI. So now split up into, into two distinct packages there. Um, normally you'd install these globally, I think, you know, if you need to have some projects on different versions of Webpack, then you, you could install it locally, but you'd have to, you'd have to run the Webpack command from within that node modules dot bin folder, um, or use NPX maybe, I'm not sure. Um, right, so Webpack 4.1.1 and the CLI are there. So let's create a very simple uh, project. Now, for there to be no configuration, there is a set of conventions that Webpack um, expects you to comply with. So they want to see a source folder where all your files will be um, and your entry file will be index.js. So these names have got to match as Webpack's just not going to pick, pick these things up. Um, so if I just put a simple my web webpack form zero config demo something like that very straightforward um, and then at the root of my project I do. Um, HTML file. This can be anything because Webpack doesn't really get involved with the HTML file as yet. So what we need to do in here is import not our index.js but our bundled file and again the convention will be Webpack will spit out the bundle into a, a dist folder and call it main.js. So that is all we would need to do there. Now, can I get this onto the root? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Um, so I think that is it in terms of convention. If I kick off Webpack, see what we get. You know, it's found main.js, it's emitted, um, sorry, it's found index.js and built it, uh, emitted main.js into a dist folder that we can see here. Uh, not very pretty. One of the other things on Webpack is there's now um, a mode you can set that gives you some nice defaults. Um, so we can set it to either development or production. You can see at the moment it's a um, second ago it was kind of minified. Now we just get a full uh, readable file. Um, yep, we can see our function there. So let's just confirm that that is coming up okay. All right, so it's creating that looks pretty good. And if we look in our sources, we can see our index file here. Why oh can't I see the dist folder? You would expect, there you go see main.js in there as well. All right, now what that is doing behind the scenes, you know, previously we would have had to create this um, 
this webpack.config.js file and say uh, module.exports and give it the entry file name which in our case is in the source folder and index.js and then we'd need the output which we'd have a file name of file name um, of main.js and we'd need to say that that is going into the dist folder so we use dr name and say dist like so so let's just pull in the path like that um, yeah so the zero config is saving us this this um, boilerplate really set up um, when we just check that that is doing the same thing go on code there we go um, so if I run webpack again now using my um, explicit config we should see that same results but with a little bit more work involved um, so yeah it's all still there and exactly the same so there you go um, that is how to use webpack for with zero config thanks very much for watching